We do certainly appreciate the president's willing to talk to the governors, um, but I am more convinced now than ever he truly believes that government is the answer to creating jobs. And when we look at the fact that he's talking about raising the minimum wage, you know, what we are all feeling is in our states the effects of Obamacare and how all of our employers are now looking at reducing the hours that employees are working, going below that 30 hours or uh, minimizing their job force. And so the focus needs to be on what works for the private sector. And he continues to go back to the government um, and truly believes that. But then we went and as Every year I think we've been there, the governors have always asked for increased flexibility. Give us flexibility. If you look at the governors and the states and what they're doing right now, we are getting so much more done in the states than they ever get in D.C. We can do that with flexibility. And in the case, Bobby brought up higher ed and, and giving flexibility, and he actually said, um, when we asked for flexibility in accreditations, he actually said, I can't have a bunch of states going out there and accrediting schools and having all these bad schools out there. He just doesn't understand that if you give us the ability, if you give governors the ability, we can put good policy in place. He doesn't believe that. He believes that D.C. is the one to do that. And then finally, we had quite a bit of discussion over the National Guard. And it wasn't so much the discussion of the National Guard as it was the tone of the discussion of the National Guard. He made it very clear in this debate of whether they are going to cut the National Guard budget or whether they're going to cut active duty. You know my husband just returned from a year of Afghanistan and he is a guardsman. He basically said, many people in this room have asked for cuts, now you're getting them. But you don't go after the National Guard to cut. That's not where you go. This is, we have survived through this war. We have survived through all of this service um, and protecting this country through the National Guard. And so you're going to go and, and now punish all these people who are asking for debt reduction by cutting the National Guard? And it's, it's just not a logical way um, to do things. So, you know, what we, are, what we are seeing is, once again, just heavy government. Um, and then finally, you look at the fact that when he talks about using his pen or using the phone, what we can say is look at what the NLRB is trying to do. They are now trying to shorten um, election times. They're trying to bully their way into getting people to join unions. I mean, that's the perfect way that he could use his pen or use his phone is back them off, back off the NLRB. Did you not learn enough with those thousand jobs in Boeing and, and how detrimental that was to not just South Carolina, but the entire country on the conversation of what American companies need and what they need to do? And so I certainly think there are a lot of opportunities for the president. I just don't think that those are opportunities that he is willing to work on.